friends, welcome to Life Cafe. Today we're going to get started with some tips that I have for you on how to beat stress and anxiety and some things you can do while you're sheltered in place at home. Exposing yourself to breaking news that is really stressful is not a good idea to start the day with. So one of the things I recommend is that you actually check the news once. If you must do it every day, just once a day, you could go to legitimate sources like the CDC or the World Health Organization sites. And I will try to put a link down below. And you could get all the information there that is more accurate and it's not going to stress you out and avoid everything else that seems to be uh, trying to uh, make an impact of fear and um, just check out this website. They also have um, things about nursing if you're into nursing. I'm a nurse, so I like this. After seeing the news, I like to have myself a cup of joe. And that's my favorite cup that I love because it says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. Amen to that. So I put on my glasses and I read something that is appropriate, like this Psalm 124 here. If you have ever been afraid or felt lost, read this and be assured that others have felt the same way. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Moving around is great. Even if you can't get up and exercise, just maybe do some dancing like here. <laughs> I'm having a ball. It's still really important to maintain some kind of sense of normalcy. So one of the ways you can do that is by creating a different daily a.m. and p.m. routine now that you're in quarantine. We used to have a routine, but now we've had to tweak it a bit. And uh, that really gives us a little bit of sense where you can get a little balance, where you do a little bit of work, a little bit of exercise, some enjoyment activities, and things like that. So um, if your kids are at home and they're doing everything remotely like mine are, then they'll have some kind of schedule as well where they have to meet with their teachers. So try to incorporate the other things around their schedule and still maintain that normalcy. Be a role model. You know, if you, especially if you have kids, you want to stay calm. If they see you freaking out and worrying all the time, they're just as likely going to do the same. So one of the things that I like to do is maybe even have to pretend. <laughs> pretend to be calm, and soon you will believe that you are calmer. So that's one of the tips that I like to do. You know, if my kids were to ask me, are you worried, or are you worried about this, or are you afraid, and I can say, a little afraid, but, you know, I know we're going to get through this, especially, you know, since we have big faith in God and we know that this too shall pass. And more so, more often than not, they will just go their own way and they won't even think about it twice. Remember to let the light in because this is really going to help you to brighten up your mood. There's nothing worse than hearing depressing news and also having everything dark inside. So let that light shine in. Another thing you can do is put away your groceries and stockpile. Like I have these plates here, which I got, by the way, I think they were like $5.99. So these are, uh, I don't know where to store them. So I'm going to have to be creative in where to store all this humongous pack. So maybe rearrange a little bit of your stockpile. As you see here, I have a hot mess. I'm probably going to reorganize this in my other channel, the Really Good Living channel. So look for that there. So now that we did mind body, now we're moving on to the soul. What I like to do is have a little bit of coffee or a hot cup of tea, get a little bit of uh, journaling done like this here, and enjoy my day. I like to do what's called PB&J. No, it's not peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> it's prayer, Bible, and journal time, of course. Another thing that I enjoy doing a lot is for my soul is making videos on YouTube. If you have a channel, you definitely, this is the time to distract yourself with making videos. I have this other channel, which is Really Good Living, and my passion is decor. So that's what I do there. And then I have another channel called Really Good Living. I'm sorry, Really Good Planning. <laughs> I have so many channels, I tend to get confused. So Really Good Planning is all about planning. And I love stickers and glam planning and glam planners and creating beautiful things in there so you can check out these i will put all the links down below as usual and then i also have it home with lady phoenix it's more of the behind the scenes kind of channel where you get to see the real and raw of how i 
organize my home and and I go a lot of thrifting well whenever we can get out I will be doing some thrifting but I'm not doing any now and fun stuff like beauty fashion makeup jewelry that sort of thing I have a few videos on that and I'll probably continue in the near future with those so if you guys want to check those out that's something you can also do is you know play and uh, organize with your jewelry and your fashion and see what you're going to prepare for when you're able to get out Sleep is the next one. It's definitely one of the most important ones. You need to replenish and nourish your body, mind, body, and soul. And this is one way to do it. I try to get in at least six to eight hours of sleep. A uh, tip is that I know we're all sheltered in place, but there's a lot of people out there that may not have the funds to continue that shelter. And so if that is the case, don't be too proud to seek resources you know, whether it be, I don't know, it might even have to be a shelter for a few days or a week or so. Um, it could also be things like seeking help from the government or, I don't know, asking for some food stamps or whatever it is you can do. You know, maybe getting some of the bill services extended so they can give you more time to pay or uh, maybe even your, your rent can get paid later. You know, those are options you can do as well. So... Try to see what kind of resources and keep a calm, cool, and collected attitude so that you can stay healthy, so you can think better, and you can figure out what are some of the options that you can do. And like I said, check out some resources like California Department of Social Services. They have resources for families that are in great need for you to check out. There are services you can seek out if you just take the time to look. I will link whatever I can down below. So those were my tips for today, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys got some tips from here. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to be healthy, well, happy, and as organized as you can. Many blessings, and stay tuned for my next video. Thanks for watching.